Okay, tricky question here. Uh, Steve is working at the height of the building. CD. Steve measures the angle of elevation to the top from two different places that are 50 meters apart. So he measures 65 here and 78, and we know from A to B only is 50. We want to calculate the height of the building, so we want to calculate this height. Oops, it's a bit wobbly. X. Now, if we had either either had the information for that triangle there, that would be okay because we'd have the angle on one side and we can work out that using normal trigonometry. Or if we have the information for that triangle, we could work out the height because again it's a right angle. We'd use the 65 if we knew this length uh, or the total of this length, we could find out that. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to try and work out this distance here. I'm going to call this y from a to d. So I'm going to use um, the sine rule. Now this is quite a complicated rule if you've not done it before. And I need to know that this angle is 102. That means that that angle up there is, uh, I believe it's 13. And now I'm going to use the sine rule. And the sine rule states this. It can work with any pairs. It tells me that y over the sine of 102 is equal to 50 over the sine of 13. So it pairs up the opposite angle, angle with the side opposite. So 13 goes with the 50 and y goes with 102. So that means to find y, I need to do 50 times sine 102 and then divide it by sine 13. And when I do that, I get that y is equal to 217.413 Four two eight seven nine eight. Okay, so now I'm going to focus in on this triangle that I spoke about earlier. I'm going to focus. Oops. Oh, that's terrible. Let's just focus in on that. The big triangle around the outside. So let's change color to red. And I now know that. I now know this is approximately 217, so I know what y is. That's the hypotenuse. With a 65 here, I know this is the opposite. And the adjacent along the bottom, I don't want. So I've got to do another sign, but normal trigonometry now. So normal trigonometry tells me that the, um, the opposite, our x, is equal to, well, if we just write out so we know it's equal to the hypotenuse, which is our answer for y, times the sine of 65, using normal right-angled trigonometry, not complicated sine rule. So this is normal trig. So to do that, I just have to times my answer. I leave my answer on my calculator, the 217, blah, 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 blah point something, times it by the sine of 65, and I get the value x, is equal to 197.043483526. And it asks us to do it to three significant figures. So therefore the height is equal to 197 meters to three significant figures. Now this is a little bit complicated, so I would go back and I'd check that you know how to do the sine rule first of all. You can do it with a slightly different triangle, and then you just, instead of having a sine of 65 here, you found out, would have found out this length here, from B to D, but then you'd have to use uh, 78 instead. Uh, you can do it either way, it's just that happened to be the way I chose to do it. Okay, maybe watch the video again if you need to.